Hello mga katropa! So today guys, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up a MetaMask account. So ano nga ba ang MetaMask guys? Basically guys, ang MetaMask ay isang cryptocurrency wallet kung saan pwede yung store yung mga cryptocurrency nyo. And majority ng mga blockchain games or NFT play to earn games ay gumagamit ng MetaMask or supported ng MetaMask. So, if alam niyo yung mga play to earn games like Axie Infinity, My DeFi Pet, CryptoBlades, Ethermon, lahat yon and marami pang iba is compatible to use with MetaMask. So, magandang foundation na alam natin how to properly set up and create an account with MetaMask. Okay. So nga pala guys, the number one thing you have to think of is to secure your MetaMask account kasi maraming phishing sites. So, ang recommended ko talaga kung saan nyo i-download ang MetaMask is on Google Chrome only as an extension. So, simulan natin by downloading Google Chrome. Ayan. So, click lang natin download Chrome. Ayan. So, if your download doesn't begin automatically, pwede tayo mag-click dito. So, since wala pa yung download, click natin dyan. Ayan. So, once okay na yung nag-download na, open lang natin ng file. Pag humingi sa inyo ng permission, click nyo lang yung yes. Ayan, tapos wait lang natin siya na mag-download. Okay, so once na matapos na siyang mag-download, automatic magpa-pop up na tong Chrome browser natin and then ready to use na siya. Ayan. So, we can just do get started. Okay, so once naka-install na yung ating Chrome, Punta lang tayo sa Google and then search natin Chrome Web Store. Ayan. And then, let's go to Extensions. Okay. So, once nandito na tayo sa Chrome Web Store, search lang natin dito sa search box MetaMask. Ayan. So, lalabas na dito yung extensions na nagmamatch sa sinerch natin. So, ito yun guys, MetaMask offered by MetaMask.io Ayan, yung official website ng MetaMask. That's how you know you have the correct extension. So, click lang natin yan. And then, pag-click natin yan, makikita nyo dito yung information downloaded by 6 million plus users. Ayan. So, depending kung kailan nyo binuview itong video na to, most likely aakit pa yan sa number na yan. And also, take note yung offered by HTTPS MetaMask.io Yan yung official website ni MetaMask. Ayan. So, importante na ma-make sure nyo na legit yung dinadownload nyo na MetaMask, guys. Kasi maraming mga fake apps na kumakalat na nag end up na nasistili nila yung account ninyo. Kaya make sure that you are always downloading the correct app or the correct extensions. Ayan. So, add na natin to, to Chrome. Click lang natin dito. So, add to Chrome. And then, click natin add extension. Wait lang natin yan matapos. Ayan, nag-download na siya. Okay, so once matapos yung mag-download, all we need to do to check if naka-install na nga yung ating extension is i-click natin tong icon dito, yung parang puzzle. Dito natin maa-access lahat ng mga extensions natin. So, click natin yan. Makikita natin dito yung MetaMask. Ayan. So, one tip that I can give you guys kasi kung you're planning to invest, in cryptocurrency especially in NFT play to earn games maganda kung easily accessible ito sa inyo so what you can do guys is pin it here dito sa may browser nyo para madali nyo siyang makita at ma-access so pin na muna natin ito 
Ayan. So, pag napin natin siya, lalabas yung shortcut dito sa may labas na nung extension shortcut. Nandito na siya. Mas madali na siyang ma-access. Ayan. So, now, all we need to do is to click here. And then, lalabas tong window na ito. So, click lang natin, get started. So, sa window na ito, we have two options. It's either kung meron na kayong account, i-import nyo yung wallet ninyo. In our case, magsiset up tayo ng new, ng bago. So, this is for those na wala pang MetaMask account or would like to create a different MetaMask account. Okay? So, dito tayo sa create a wallet. Ayan. Pagdating dito sa window na to guys, basahin nyo lang yan. Basically, okay lang naman lahat ng info dyan. Click nyo lang, I agree. Ayan. And then, magka-create na tayo ng password. Tapos, click nyo lang yung I have read and agreed to the terms of use. So, once may check na yan, click na natin yung create. Ayan. So, once we're here, guys, you can watch this short video for you to learn more about your secret recovery phrase and how to keep your wallet safe. So, basically, guys, itong secret recovery phrase, yan yung parang pinaka-password or pinaka-key nyo para ma-access nyo yung account nyo. Ayan. So, after you watch this short video, click lang natin yung next. Ayan. So, once nandito na tayo sa part na to, guys, ito na yung part na binibigay na sa inyo yung secret backup phrase nyo or yung secret recovery phrase nyo. So, basically, kung lilipat kayo ng ibang device, kakailanganin nyo to para ma-access nyo yung account nyo. Now, ang recommendation ko, guys, is wag nyo siyang isa-save anywhere online. Wag sa messenger nyo, not even in your PC. As much as possible, mas okay kung just write it in a piece of paper, make copies, and store it in different locations. Ayan. So, now, what we need to do is just click here para ma-reveal yung secret words. Ayan. So, pagka-click natin dyan, guys, makikita natin tong secret recovery phrase ninyo. Okay. So, for now, guys, ilalagay natin siya sa notepad. Pero, like I said, I don't recommend for you to save it anywhere in your computer or even on the cloud. Not in your email, not in your messenger, not in anywhere na pwedeng ma-access ng ibang tao. Ayan. So, take down nyo yung secret recovery phrase ninyo. Ayan. So, once na-take down nyo na to, na-write down nyo na, pwede nyo nang i-click yung next. Ayan. Click na natin yung next. So, ngayon, ipapakonfirm sa inyo yung secret backup phrase ninyo. So, kailangan, isa-select natin dito sa mga words na to in the correct order. Ayan. So, pull up lang natin tong ni-write down natin kanina. Fetch. Drop. Symbol. Student. Casino. Soldier. Level. Green. Increase. Toy. Before. Toward. Ayan. So, once okay na yan, na-select na natin in the correct order, click lang natin yung confirm. Ayan. So, lalabas to. Congratulations. And then, click lang natin yung all done. Ayan. So, here, every time you log in, makikita nyo tong what's new. Kung ano yung mga updates or yung mga bago regarding MetaMask. Ayan. So, close lang natin yan. Sa window na ito, makikita nyo na tong wallet ninyo. Alternately, guys, makikita rin natin dito sa extension yan. Ayan. So, normally, guys, 
dito natin yan nakikita talaga kasi usually when we access this close muna natin lahat ng windows para makita niyo yung sinasabi ko so normally guys when we access the browser for the first time ganyan siya hindi naman lalabas yung window ng wallet ninyo so when we access the metamask icon right here yung wallet nyo is in a small window like this one ayan hindi siya magpa-pop up separately dito ordinarily unless na gusto nyo siyang papuntahin doon but normally dito siya kasi much more accessible siya and much more convenient kung nandito lang sa small window here ayan so if kailangan nyo yung metamask address nyo guys ilagay nyo lang dito yung inyong mouse pointer and then lalabas yung copy to clipboard click nyo lang yun click nyo lang dito sa banda sa may account 1. Ayan. Tapos lalabas copied. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin nyan guys, na-copy nyo na yung metamask address nyo. So, ayan yon Yung full metamask address. Yun yung kinopy natin galing dito kanina. So, pag nanghingi ng metamask address or nangailangan para sa mga sinesend na tokens, yun yung i-input nyo. Yung galing dito. Ayan. Kung gusto nyo naman palitan yung pangalan ng account nyo, pindutin nyo lang yung tatlong dots dito. And then, click nyo yung account details. Ayan. So, when you go here to account details, guys, makikita nyo yung QR code. Itong QR code na to, magagamit nyo rin siya for transferring transactions or kung kailangan nyo yung metamask address nyo. Basically, this is your metamask address just in the form of a QR code. And then, nandito rin sa baba, ayan, metamask address nyo pa rin yan. Ito naman, in text form. So, pwede nyo rin i-copy to or actually, mas convenient yung ginawa natin kanina. Click lang natin din sa labas, sa may ibabaw ng account. Now, if you want to change the name of your account, Nakikita nyo yung previous name ng account ninyo, which is account 1. And then, may parang pencil dito. So, click nyo lang yan. Ayan. Tapos, pwede nyo lang palitan yung name ng account. So, palitan natin, demo 1. Ayan. And then, click lang natin yung check. And then, ayan, napalitan na. Yan na yung bagong name ng ating account. Demo 1. So, paano kung gusto kong mag-create ng panibagong account without having to make a new MetaMask wallet? Like, parang sa CryptoBlades, guys, if we want to exceed 4 characters, kailangan na natin ilagay yun sa panibagong account. So, how do you make another account sa iisang MetaMask wallet lang? So, all we have to do is to go to this circle icon right here, guys. Ayan. Click lang natin dyan. And then, makikita nyo dito, create account. Ayan. So, click lang natin yan, guys. And then, pwede nyong iwanan as is, account to ang name, or pwede nyong palitan. So, gawin natin demo to. And then, click lang natin yung create. Ayan. So, makikita nyo dito, guys. Ito na yung second account within the same MetaMask wallet. Okay. So, ito, iba rin yung MetaMask address nito, guys, of course. So, same, guys, basta click nyo dito, automatic makakopy na yung MetaMask address ninyo. Ayan, paste natin. So, see, magkaiba siya, guys. Ito yung demo 1. Yan yung MetaMask address ng demo 1 account natin. And ito yung kay demo 2. So, magkaiba siya, guys, kasi magkaibang account siya. Okay, so ngayon, nasa Demo 2 tayo na account. What if I want to switch back and go to Demo 1 account? Ang gagawin ko lang, guys, is ikiklik ulit tong circle na to, tong circle icon dito, and then lalabas na to, My Accounts. So, ito yung dalawang account natin so far. So, hiklik ko lang yung Demo 1. Ayan. So, nandito na ako sa Demo 1 account. So, same thing kung gusto kong bumalik sa Demo 2 account. Click ko ulit dito sa circle. And then, click ko yung Demo 2. Ayan, guys. So, this is a common question that I see or get asked regarding MetaMask accounts. Madalas itanong kung pwede daw gumamit ng isang MetaMask lang 
para sa iba't ibang games na nilalaro nila. So, for example, pwede ba yung Metamask na ginagamit ko sa my DeFi Pet account ko, pwede ba na yun din yung gamitin ko sa Crypto Blades account ko? Or, for example, may Axie account ako, pwede bang silang tatlo nandun magkakasama? Actually, guys, yes, pwede. Hindi lang dalawa, hindi lang tatlo, kahit ilan pa sila. So, all those games can coexist with one another. Pwedeng isa lang yung Metamask wallet ko, and then lahat ng games na nilalaro ko nandun. Lahat ng play-to-earn games ko nandun. Pwedeng nandun yung Axie, Crypto Blades, My DeFi Pet, Crypto Zoon, Ethermon, lahat yun. Kahit lahat-lahat yun, pag samasamahin ko, laruin ko sa iisang account, pwede. Since magkakaiba naman sila ng games, magkakaiba silang developers, walang kaso guys, kahit iisang account lang ang gamit nyo. And lahat ng games nyo ay nandun. So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa video tutorial na to guys. If you have any suggestions or anything that you want me to make a tutorial of, please feel free to comment down below. Please also consider liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and clicking that notification bell para updated kayo sa mga NFT play-to-earn games na i-re-review ko sa channel na to. Ayan, so that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye!